Okay, capping off 2021, this had to have been one of the highlights of my year, building and finishing this thing, a 2014 Livingston Skiff, AKA the Freeman 14. A lot of people to thank, a lot of hard work that went into this thing. Took the better part of the year to finish it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick rundown, front to back or bow to stern for all you Mariners out there. But uh, just finished up this Taco Marine rub rail today. Boys at Gator Step built us this kick-ass pad kit for the entire boat. Right here, we got the access panels to the 12 gallon aluminum fuel cell that we built. Wet sounds, Bluetooth soundbar, that thing absolutely pumps. We got a lot of stuff from Boat Outfitters. This right here, a custom access panel. We now have dry storage on the port and starboard side. We built this custom fiberglass center console. We now have a mold to that. But uh, 10 inch deck lid here, we keep all the safety equipment, fire extinguisher, uh, life jackets, EPIRV, all that stuff. We do take this thing 20 plus miles offshore, so safety's a, a top priority. But you can see here, we ran some tubes on each side of the console, port and starboard. Uh, this side has the fuel lines, the shift cable, throttle cable. The other side, we have all that engine harness, power wires, all that stuff. Tried to keep them separate. Right there, we got the uh, fuel vent. Keep some water out of there. Keep the fumes out of the uh, hull area here. But uh, got the Suzuki flush mount throttle, nine inch Garmin, chart plotter, GPS fish finder, the Edson steering wheel. The Boca Tech switch panel from the guys at Seastell Marine. Another Boat Outfitters access panel here. Battery switch panel. All the electronics. Craig at West Coast Bait Tanks. Built us this custom 25 gallon bait tank. We did the custom latching and hinged lid on that. Got some more boat outfitters. This is a uh, glove boxes, locking, O-ring seal, super nice to put all some small accessories and whatnot. Got the combination angled rod holder slash cup holder. Some more boat outfitters, access panels here. Got the Airmar through hole transducer, bilge pumps, fuel filter, drain for the bait tank. Got the through hole fittings for the bilge there. Sea Star hydraulic steering, 60 horsepower Suzuki. Did a stainless steel double plate there to handle the extra weight and power. All the uh, engine harness stuff is routed through this. Tried to Keep it nice and clean. This side we got the bait pump, another bilge pump. So yeah, the plan is to put a 200 pound tune on it this year. We didn't quite have the opportunity because we were building the boat this year, but with any luck, if the fish are in range, and the weather is permitting, we will definitely capitalize on the opportunity. But uh, absolutely love this boat. Handles like a 30 foot boat, nine miles to the gallon, 35 mile an hour top speed. This thing is an absolute blast. Super fun to fish, super quiet, easy to maintain, cheap to operate. That's why I spent a small fortune on it because there's really nothing else like it out there. So, see you guys out on the water. Tight lines, happy new year. Uh, be safe.